Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. This video, you're going to watch me unbox this cup of tea into my belly. <sighs> Guys, I'm so tired. I have I filmed five videos last week and I have not recovered. Anyway, we are going to be unboxing this month's model box. I think this is the post apocalypse. I mean, when I say I think, I can't remember if it's apocalypse or apocalyptic. You heard me. Not quite sure. We're going to find out. It's going to say as soon as we open it. Where is this year going? I feel like I only just did last month's one. I only finished the video. I finished painting the model last week and put up the video on Friday. So you, time is flying. It's going to be Christmas again soon and oof, 2019, etc., etc. Anyway, enough of my rants. If you are unfamiliar with Model Box, I will leave a link in the description below, which will take you to the first box where I just explained Model Box subscription based um, box, it's similar to Loot Crate. This is aimed around miniatures, models, the hobby area we're in. So there's often paints and a load of miniatures to paint, which is pretty cool. Last month was really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, and I also last week, if you didn't see, if you've not watched those videos, I painted their rocks, the model box fox, the fantasy version. Uh, was it the dungeon version, I think? And I believe, if I, my memory is correct, there is another rocks model in here. So we're going to find out. It's oh, I did not cut it properly yet. I'll do. I uh, pre-snipped it, but obviously not very well. Try not to use a knife on camera. So here we go, guys. This is uh, what month are we in? August? August model box? What are we presented with? Oh, hello. <laughs> well, that, this is thick. Unusual. So here's the, uh, the usual pamphlet. I'm not going to read that yet because I like guessing what everything is and showing how little I know. What's this? Chillcon. Invention for all aspects. Where's this? Darby, hello. Not too far from me. Maybe I should attend this. It'll be the first con convention I've ever been to. I've never been to one. Let me know in the comments below if you've been to some, many, one. What would you say? I'm a bit anxious about that sort of thing. So that's why I've kind of never been. But maybe it's the sort of thing I should be attending. Let me know what you think in the comments and what I would enjoy the most. What is this? This is a little pamphlet for a range of 28 mil heroic scale models and conversion bits. Ooh, I've not done any converting, conversioning. I think I'd quite like it. I like, well, I like these little kit things where you get a few bits and pieces, just if nothing else to like attach to bases and that sort of thing. So you can, you know, leave some of the limbs on the base or what are these, these little round heads, that sort of thing. I don't know what this is about. Maybe we'll find out shortly, but it's a little catalog did it have the prices in it does so it's got a load of stuff they make and a load of prices it's kind of like a paper version of the internet you know if you want to kick, kick it old school let's start with a sweet a chupa chup chupa chups is there no ha <gasps> is there no harry bow oh boy benson will be upset sophie however and is, is that a mini one because that's even better sophie however loves lollipops and we don't let her eat much candy so she will be very happy about that where should we start should we start with the model box exclusive this unpainted it was unpainted it looks pretty painted to me this unpainted miniature is exclusive to model box excellent you produced in the uk i'm sure you can buy these on their website though so although you can only get it from them if you do miss out on the box, I think you can buy the models. You certainly can buy the wizard one, which I painted. And as I mentioned, check the videos from last week if you'd like to, to see him painted. Because he's one of my favourite miniatures this entire year. If not ever, maybe. So Rox is back. Rox, the model box fox. So he looks a bit, he's a bit Mad Maxi style, isn't he? So that is awesome. That is really, really, really cool. I don't play any games this will fit in. So fortunately for me, it's not likely to get painted. Might do him as a little giveaway. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in receiving this cool little guy. But uh, yeah, I was thinking that, I was just thinking that in the sh shower this morning when this arrives. <laughs> I don't play, I don't play Fallout. I don't play very many modern games. I'm more of a, a fantasy player now. I, I do have the modern zombie side, but you know I've not touched it since Black Plague arrived. So I'm not quite sure what I'll do. So I'm hoping, I was thinking this box might have some zombies in, so that'll work with zombie side, and not sure what else. So the usual is often a couple of pots of paint, 
Rat Brown, always interested in new browns. If you're on the Discord channel, you'll be uh, quite aware that I am quite into browns. Lots and lots of slightly different shades of brown. So Rat Brown's very good. Mid grey, I also like greys. You know, that looks a bit like Filthy Suit. Might be a bit lighter, but I use a lot of Filthy Suit, so it's always good to have some more. Uh, what else do we get? A disc, just a disc. This is a 48 mil display disc. What on earth is a display disc? What do you do with that, guys? Somebody in the comments below, let me know what that's for. I mean, obviously it's for displaying things. So what, you just stick a model on it. What, 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 what? Is it just for like, if you don't play with a thing? Because imagine I'm playing zombie side and this bam, 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 maybe put an abomination on it. It's crushing his way through, presumably. I paint something up, I base that, and I put it on a shelf, and it just looks cool, right? Is that what it's for? Let me know, please. Oh, that's that's the uh, the catalog, isn't it? That I was just looking at, looking at. So this is some uh, conversion stuff. So I can't I can't tell what everything is, but you get a skull. That's that's one skull, isn't it? Is that that is a canteen, a load of grenades, and shells. I'm guessing. So yeah, this is perfect. I mean, again, it's quite futuristic, and I don't play many war games, but I have got um, Fire Team Zero. I think that's a battery pack. But yeah, grenades, skulls, obviously useful for anything canteen. But if I've got some modern, modern day stuff, that's going to make basin really, really, really cool, actually. So that's great. Got a few of those. Am I missing some? There's little holes. Where have they gone? I didn't notice them. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, a bunny mimic. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, can I open this quickly? Ah, yes, I can. What's a bunny mimic? Let's see if you can see how many packets are they, are they in. We'll open, open the next packet as well. Packets in packets. These are Inception packets. Uh, what is that? I've got no idea. Where's his arms? What is this? What is it? I actually don't know. Don't know what that is. Don't know what it. I can't tell what it is. I don't know what it's for. I don't know where his arms are. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. What is that? Somebody, if I'm missing something, I mean, I'm going to flick through the magazine in a minute and it might explain it, but if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments because that is the first thing I think I've ever got that I'm like, what? I don't know what, I don't even know what it is. I can't imagine using it. And then the last thing, you get a bit of packaging, as always. Not very exciting. What is this? Some scenics. Sandbags, I think. Let's see if we can open this in a reasonable time frame. Oh, why are these so hard to open yet so easy? Do I even know how to open things? Yeah, I think they were just. Oh, they are. They're just sandbags. Again, I mean, this would be. I don't play war games, but I imagine you can just use this as scenery on the table. They're all. I mean, they just sit flat, paint them up as sandbags. Amazing. These feel really nice as well. Mmm, <laughs> plastic. They really like. I don't know, textured, but really smooth simultaneously. So they're just a load of sandbags. Awesome if you play that sort of game. I unfortunately don't. However, if I paint anything big, again, Fire Team Zero, but they have 3D bases. You know, this is going to come in handy for me at some point, no doubt, on the channel. Uh, just right now, sadly, no use, but that will that will sit on the edge. I just need to play some more modern games, don't I? If, I, if you think I don't play enough modern games, well, let me know in the comments below and let me know what I should pick up because... I'm I'm pretty sure all my stuff's fantasy. I can't think of anything I, I've got. Let me know if I'm missing something that I've got that is, you know, more modern, I guess, the others, but I've never even played it. I've only painted it. Anyway, let me just go flick through the um the little brochure you get and I will summarize. I'll just be back for a minute, so stay tuned. Ah, delicious. Anyway, what have we got? So I flipped through this. I was actually pretty much spot on with everything. I, I really enjoyed this. They've decided this Mad Rock, so it was a Mad Max themed, is probably the best Rocks Mini so far. Now, without a doubt, I did think that this is fantastic. Like that sculpt looked amazing, but it shows you, you know, personal opinion, personal preference, how much that matters. I play fantasy games. I, I as, as much as I appreciate that sculpt being great, I don't think it's the best because it ain't a wizard, you know? <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> and then this didn't really explain anything. This is the ghost of Gaia. That's what the, that little bunny mimic thing is. I don't know. The toughest girls in the apocalypse. Is that a girl? 
I can't, I can't even see where, where's its arm. Still don't understand. Didn't, didn't really clear anything out. That's probably the worst miniature I've seen. Maybe I'm missing something. Somebody let me know in the comments below, but pretty disappointed with that. I won't be painting it. Wow, wow, wow. Sandbags, thought they're fantastic. They look really, really nice quality. They'll be really fun to paint. They'll be really useful. I don't play those sorts of games, but they're going to wait and wait and wait. And no doubt I will be painting those one day. These Zinj Industries, I did. I flicked through the, I thought this little pamphlet catalog was good. I mean, I made a joke about it. it's just online anyway, you can go and look, but that, I did look through it, whereas I'm not likely to go to every website they here and flick through every page they have to look, whereas I quickly, quickly flick through there. So they have, this was the sci-fi and modern sprue. They have a fantasy one. Why didn't I get that? Because it doesn't fit with the, oh, it was post-apocalyptic. So I was I was close in remembering it. I couldn't quite remember if it was apocalypse or apocalyptic. But that's why I got this one. Unfortunately, had it been the fantasy one, I'd be using it tonight. But nope. Display disc, kind of what I said. You just what paint your model and put it on. It's like decorative. I personally, I'm not quite sure why I do that. I play games, though. Is that just a gamer in me? I paint them to play them. I don't paint them to have them on my shelf. Ironically, if I turn the camera around, there's about 150 models on my shelf. But that's because I'm painting them. They're all waiting to paint. And then a couple of paints. And I always find that the paints are always great. I don't think you can go wrong with the paints. Either they're just a slightly different color of something I need, a color I use a lot of so will run out eventually. Or otherwise, you can just give them away. I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you're a painter. Some of your friends are possibly interested, possibly getting into it. You just give them these extra paints if, if you don't need them. I mean, I'm not giving them away. I, I need This is a different brown, and this is a grey I use all the time, so they're mine. And then the sweets, I, I say every week. I don't particularly eat candy, but I normally eat the Haribo or any of the sweat sours and all that sort of stuff, and then Benson eats them, and then I think Sophie will enjoy that. So all in all, again, e even though for me this doesn't this doesn't suit me, um, it's not the box that I would outright buy but this model is absolutely amazing can't go wrong with the paints candy's okay these uh basing stuff will be useful one day i think this will sit and wait not no idea what this is and somebody tell me why i should put um, it on a plinth and display i'm still happy you know it's all right it's all right that it's a it's a sleeper for me this one and i'm be looking forward to next week and maybe it'll be fantasy again anyway thank you all very much for watching and this is this could easily be much more your cup of tea we're all completely different and i know a lot of people do like modern war based sorts of games it's just not what i've got yet but that's just because i haven't got a seamon game that is that tight right <laughs> that's just how i've rolled so far thank you all very much for watching